Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about indoor hydroponic gardening in many systems and how to keep the plant, like pepper plants, uh, compact and producing lots of peppers. Uh, this is the question that I get up pretty often and I've answered it many times in many videos but um, I guess we'll just do it again. And so the question for that is how do I keep the plant so short and compact while allowing it to produce so much. And so the advantage to that is uh, because the plant is grown in hydroponic, there's always nutrients available. And so when you feed the plants properly, they always produce a ton. And so you see these are mini systems here. This is a water bottle system. And look at the amount of fruits that are on there. And then we have the Aragorn Bounty here. I've been harvesting peppers off of that like crazy and it's still putting out more pods. And uh, here's another one here that is starting to uh, put out some flowers and uh, I should get fruit for that very soon. And so you may be wondering how I keep this plant so compact. And so the answer to that is uh, pruning. You have to do constant pruning. The reason for that is because depending on what system you use, the light, uh, see the light hood right here, may be not strong enough and the intensity is not what the plants require so it, it tends to stretch a lot and so when that happens uh, you know the plants could get leggy and long and then they could fall out of the system and not grow well and so to uh, combat that usually what I would do is first I cut the plant as as uh, as it get to a certain height that I want also you want to keep the light hood low enough so that the intensity is good enough for the plant. See, I raised this one now just to show you guys the, the plant, but actually I usually put it around right here. The Aragorn, this is the Bounty, is a very weak system. I think the hood, the light hood is around 40 watts or something like that. And so you need to put it pretty low down to the plant in order for it to get the intensity that it needs. And so here, my plant, you see, I, I cut it right here. And then once you cut it, the, the, it will force energy back to the bottom and then the bottom shoots will grow and uh, also you want to uh, shape it like a Christmas tree like a triangle like this and the reason for that is because if the leaves up here get so big it'll block the light from getting down to the bottom sh shoots here and these shoots are going to be useless they're going to be dead weight and so uh, what I usually do is I do a lot of trimming you see you see all these leaves right here are missing because I in the beginning when they were starting to grow they were blocking lights from getting to the bottom and so I cut those leaves out and then allow the, the bottom leaves to get the light that it needs and so for example you see this one here it's kind of blocking this area and so you just take that off you see and you do that very often. You see, these leaves are getting really large. Also, you don't you don't want too many branches like this. You see, uh, what happens here is it's gonna start growing and it's gonna shade everything else out. And so you want the branches that are growing outward like this to stay. The branches that go upward like this one here, I'm gonna remove. You see, and see now you see that it it allows all this light to get through into the middle shoots. And so anything that's blocking the bottom, you want to just pinch it off or use a scissor or something like that, see? Like that, you see how much I cleared? And now this bottom area right here is getting light to get through. And when it gets the amount of light that it needs, it will start to grow better. So this one's blocking, so there. So take, you see all the inner, inner um, leaves area right here? I have removed that because those have were, were shaded away and it's not going to do much anyway for the plant so just remove those so though any leaves that are on the inside that are not getting any lights they're going to be remain small see see this one here look how small that is and so just remove those uh, removing those are actually pretty good because it will reduce the amount of nutrients the plant would take up but also it just get rid of the dead weight and also it allows you know there's some space some air circulation in there so it's it's, it's better for the plant anyway because um, 
you know like uh, water can evaporate and all that stuff doesn't cause diseases and all that and so uh, yeah it, it does take constant pruning you prune it at the top wherever you want the, the plant to be and then from there on you just keep it that length and allow the size to grow and then you just prune the size as it gets too much and so you see yeah these are leaves that you don't really need because it's just getting in the way and so you prune it like that and then your plant will eventually uh, grow back and uh, it's, it'll, it'll look like a Christmas tree and also it, uh, it grows very very fast in hydroponic things grow so fast in a matter of days you're gonna have to uh, you know do some more pruning again and so um, yeah that's really how I, I do it and I uh, keep these plants really short and compact and healthy as well so uh, try it out and I hope that helped you guys uh, uh, with your grow. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.